So finally, we're just going to uh, consider briefly some of the potential complications with these procedures. Mercifully, uh, there aren't many, which is nice. By far and away, the most uh, kind of common cause, uh, sorry, the common complication following both FNA and, and even more so true cut uh, core tissue biopsies is the risk of hemorrhage. Uh, no matter what you do, there will always be some hemorrhage, a small amount of hemorrhage. Uh, however, what we're hoping is that that will, that will coagulate and stop very, very quickly. Um, so within most in, in, sorry, in most instances, within about a minute or so, um, the site should have coagulated nicely. Uh, of all of the organs, probably the kidney is most susceptible, um, but also biopsying spleen and liver, uh, you're going to get a, a reasonable risk of, uh, of hemorrhage. Um, and it is worth just bearing that in mind. The risk of peritonitis um, is, is low, uh, but it can happen, particularly if you've sampled something that turns out to be an abscess, uh, and then as you remove the needle, uh, you, you get leakage or you drag some of the, the infected material through normal tissue as you come back out. As we mentioned before, uh, it's worth considering a narrow gauge needle if you suspect there may be a, a, an abscess that you're sampling. And also bear in mind uh, judicious use of antibiotics potentially after sampling if, if, if it turns out that the lesion that does appear to be a, an abscess. It's worth considering avoiding hollow organs. So for example, the GI tract, uh, what you don't want to do is to put a needle all the way through into the lumen of a hollow organ. And it's also worth bearing in mind that uh, it is now well accepted that biopsying or needle biopsying of urinary tract tumours in particular um, bladder and prostate tumours that may well be transitional cell carcinomas uh, is not a good idea due to the risk of tumour cells seeding along the needle line. Um, in those instances a catheter suction biopsy uh, is preferred um, and um, uh, there will be other descriptions of how to carry out those procedures which may or may not require ultrasound guidance. Other, two other things just to bear in mind um, if you're biopsying a liver or fine needle aspirate a liver, uh, try not to cross uh, between liver margins, uh, lobe margins. So don't, don't go into one lobe, out the other side and into the next lobe, try to stay within one lobe. And also try to, to uh, set it up so that uh, your needle goes through some normal tissue into the mass or lesion that you're trying to, to sample and back out through some normal tissue so that if there is any hemorrhage, that normal tissue will help to, to sort of seal over the whole uh, and, and minimise any complications. Um, it's always worth ha having a, a quick uh, scan uh, 10, to 10 minutes to half an hour after you've, uh, after you've perform performed the procedure just to make sure that there aren't any complications by way of hemorrhage uh, and then keep an eye on the patient clinically as well. Other than that, good luck.